Hey Truculent and uh, other people watching this YouTube. Uh, I really like Truculent's um, Minecraft Jewel to EU converter machine that he just uh, posted on YouTube. But I didn't like all the Blutricity he was using or the auto crafting table and I thought it could be refined a little bit. So um, go ahead and watch his video if you haven't to see his amazing machine that turns one Minecraft jewel into two and a quarter EUs. And then come back here and I'll show you uh, how I modified it a bit. So I got rid of the the sorting machines and the Blutricity and what this does, what I have here is filters with the um, the scrap potassium cell and the scrap compressed air cell in line with tubes and the uh, the nitrogen cell as well in a filter that go down to the two extractors and the gas turbine. So all the uh, all the cells coming from the electrolyzer they're pulled out with a transposer and they're sent and automatically sorted by these inline filters into the uh, the appropriate uh, machines and that gets rid of uh, the sorting machines the output of those is pull just pulled out by transposers and fed back into the electrolyzer it's just empty cells which is the f the the fuel slot for the electrolyzer goes in the the bottom the uh, the rest of it the pulverizers is pretty much the same uh, just a different configuration I was trying to compact it didn't work out so well, but I'm sure it could be made smaller. Um, the th thermal expansion machines don't seem to eject directly to red power tubes, so I just used um, the Billcraft pipes here. Uh, the, I could probably use a transposer or a relay or something, but this was a cheap solution, even though I don't really like the Billcraft pipes. Um, it works. Um, they're being fed, the sand is all being fed to a hopper, including the sand I'm making with the pulverizers, the two pulverizers making the extra sand that it needs. Um, and then the hopper feeds into this machine, which is the, the factorization machine called a packager, which automatically crafts the input into a 3x3 three three or a 2x2 two two recipe. So anything like if you're making blocks, like uh, uh, iron blocks, it would do it would take nine iron ingots and output an iron block sandstone is uh, two by two sand creates one sandstone so it's making that automatically and it's supplying the the redstone pulse automatically oops automatically to this transposer so I don't need to have a uh, built craft gate or a timer or anything the, the packager supplies the pulse to the transposer which sucks out the sandstone and puts it into this pulverizer. Then the, the pulverizer spits out the two sand it makes back to the hopper and the one in ten chance of getting the niter goes down to this pulverizer which crafts the niter into the um, whatever it crafts into. <laughs> uh, saltpeter and then the saltpeter goes into the electrolyzer which when it has enough saltpeter and empty cells creates the the nitrogen cells and the two scrap cells which are recycled I don't use the compressed air or the um, potassium I just get rid of those and save the cells and put them back in so it doesn't consume any tin. Uh, same as truculents. So yeah, it's the same as truculents except uh, instead of using the auto crafting table and the uh, the diamond gate and the sorting machines, it's a lot cheaper to build. It uses filters so you don't have to deal with blutricity, you don't have to deal with blue doped wafers, you don't have to, d to deal with spending more diamonds or getting ender pearls. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cheap. Over here, I just decided to see how much, um, how efficient these electrical engines were. I put in 60,000 EUs feeding the redstone energy cell and got 20,000 out of it. So that's 3 EU per MJ. So unfortunately, you cannot 
or maybe fortunately you cannot turn this into an infinite energy machine by um, powering your uh, redstone parts with excess energy from the EU. You actually would end up with a net loss but there are way more efficient ways of generating the Minecraft jewels than this electrical engine so it's still a very efficient machine for converting MJs to EUs. Alright, thanks guys and I'll see you another time.